My girlfriend and I both decided to take one month break from work. We took a bus from Johor to Hayat for only $35 SGD per batch per person one way. If we were to travel from Singapore, it would cost 50 SGD. The first pit stop, the toilet cost 10 ringgit for two pets. Subsequent stops, the toilet are all free. Many hours to the right, the bus driver stopped at Shell to pump petrol. So many hours into the ride. Total hours is very long. We set off at 4 pm in Johor and we only reached Sadao border at 7 am where the bus stopped by at this roadside street store which sell a variety of food. I bought soya bean which cost about 20 baht and this is the view of my girlfriend eating dessert because it was too early to check in yet. Finally, fast forward, we went to eat crab at this place. Then we went to this temple, but there was nothing much at the temple. So we continued to go to the roadsides and see some bird nest and we drank some bird nest. Both bird nests cost 100 baht and two and 400 baht, but they both taste the same. Then we continued to walk to the night market in the night. And my girlfriend was so excited because she see all the clothes that she was so tempted to buy. She also complained that her time in, in Bangkok was nicer and the clothes is more trendy. So we ended up leaving Asian woman Night Bazaar empty like handed. Because my girlfriend trying to find Aye. some loots and some goods to buy. She need to buy some work clothes to prepare herself for work. Then we saw people eating, but we wasn't sure if the food were clean or not because we are so afraid of getting food poisoning. Then we continued to walk at this place called Greenway Night Market where my girlfriend saw a, some clothes she liked and she bought one for me too. Then she continued walking and walking trying to find the perfect work clothes. She saw a shirt a blazer but it looks really bad on her and See, I told her not to I buy forget me already. after countless of walking my girlfriend complained that she's tired but she's not hungry so I decided to go get some food but before that I have to wait for my girlfriend here over here no, my girlfriend is still busy looking at nails and I realized many people in Thailand they ride motorcycle because here parking for motorcycle is free over at this place the next day we wake up, we went to eat some boat noodles. My girlfriend used a lot of tissue paper. We went to rent the motorcycle so we can get around Haya and visit, visit places that has very nice view. So this is me checking the motorcycle to see if there's any damage or pre-existing damage that I'm afraid the owner might blame me for afterwards. So I must do a thorough careful search of the engine and the undercarriage to make sure that any existing damage is all recorded. I brought my girlfriend to a place and I ride her to this place where they have live ammunition to shoot bullets because my girlfriend told me that she hasn't ever in her life shoot a gun before. For me, you know, as a military boy, you know, it's compulsory that we have to serve. I have to shoot many, many bullets, but it's only the SAR-21. So this is my girlfriend, she's so cute in her earplugs. No, over here we need to protect our ears so that the loud firing won't damage our ear. So we choose to this weapon is called the G-Clock. No, it has a scope inside for the pistol. So for 50 bullets, it costs us 2000 baht. And these 50 bullets we can share. We can share among two persons. So this is our trainer. Everything he explained is in Thai, so I don't know what the hell he's explaining. But it doesn't matter because we are all here just for fun to fire the pistol. I told my girlfriend to be careful of the recoil because I'm afraid the recoil might be too heavy that might hurt her wrist. But no, she did it quite well. No, she hold the gun quite firmly. No, and with the instructor guidance 
uh, we are rest assured. So when I look at the target, I try to aim at the head and uh, so shoot some bullet into the chest and uh, the bottom middle leg, I also ch shoot some bullet into that area. Yes. We, we were the only ones there trying to shoot. You know, other people there are just members that are preparing for a competition tomorrow. So I don't know why this, this shooting range is so empty today. No, and this is how well Woo! How we managed to shoot so many bullets. So on the right is my girlfriend, so she missed some shots. Mm. Then we went to see some fishes, you know. This arowana that cost a hundred thousand baht. Imagine that amount close to a hundred thousand baht. You no, know, if you to catch a fish using your friend fishing rod. Whose fish does it belong to? Just reply in the comment below. Then we went to eat some food at the nearby. And then I ride the motorcycle to a nice view up in the hill in the park where me and my girlfriend we enjoyed the beautiful sunset. No, there was quite a lot of mosquitoes, so my girlfriend bought her mosquito repellent to spray on okay. her legs. Then we chew a bit. No, take some nice videos and post a little bit. Then we decided that it was time to go grab some food at the night market because we were too hungry. So this is Lee Garden Night Market. My girlfriend saw some kueh, kueh lampis, and she decided to try. Since the kueh is covered up and free from dust, unlike the uncle other stores so my girlfriend insists that she wanted to take away the food because the weather here is so hot even at night we are all perspiring so back at the airbnb you no know, we blast the aircon and then i park the motorcycle just outside the airbnb you no know, it's so convenient but this airbnb according to my girlfriend she say she feels that it's haunted so for the haunted part i think i won't talk much in this video because you no know, it's too scary to talk about it then i ride our motorcycle to semilam beach where my girlfriend enjoyed the beautiful view on the beach on the swing you no know, from our location to semilam beach it's about 30 kilometer but the journey took me almost an hour on the motorcycle and me as a Boyfriend, you know, I helped my girlfriend take some beautiful shots and she ate there just relaxed and posting like a model. So at Semilan Beach, what's not to be missed is this golden statue mermaid. So legends say that long ago this fisherman saw this mermaid, but then this fisherman accidentally scared away this mermaid. So from that day on, he no longer see this beautiful mermaid again. There was nothing much to do at the beach, you no know, other than taking photos. We came here early so that you know there won't be a long queue to take photos with the mermaid. So after loitering here a while, we decided that it's time to go grab some food. So we went to a market nearby and I bought some bananas. Then we went to the elephant camp. It was quite quite near or quite far, about 30 minutes right. Then we see people playing with the elephant no. I've seen many cases of elephant killing humans so I'm very afraid to try but yes it's free to try you know the elephant will carry you up and you will end down but I'm really afraid of the elephant you know I think that I shouldn't risk it and life is precious and I shouldn't risk being injured because we never know what animals are thinking so over here see the price list for all this Crocodile show, ATV. No, we decided that it's not worth it and we decided to give it a miss. Then we went to eat something, sun because we saved money. And then we went back to the Airbnb to enjoy the free Netflix. And it was really enjoyable. No, my girlfriend keep complaining about the ghosts inside the Airbnb, but I don't see any ghosts. So then we went to eat some boat noodles. You know, and then the boat noodles, you know, we like to like it very much. The best boat noodles ever in Thailand. And then we decided to change hotel. You know, we went to this 
budget hotel but it looks so nice you know, this hotel you know, we actually booked last minute you know a lot, uh, along the way you know we don't like to plan too in advance because along the way you know if you don't like the airbnb you still can change hotel and over here you know it was a night market you know the sky was beginning to grow dark you know it was about to rain so with these are moments of eating before it rains and when it rains heavily you know we are stuck in this night market so my girlfriend decided that she want to get her nails done you know use the uv ray to cure her nails and after about 30 minutes of waiting if we are done and we go to the shopping mall to eat i think this was the next day you know one day later you know the next morning we saw some golden utensils and we thought it's very classy and at night we went to night market and this guy you know there's live singing but unfortunately it started to rain and we couldn't really enjoy the night market so at least we managed to catch the vibe and the feel of the place. So we decided to buy some honey lemon drink, drink you know, something refreshing. And the next day, we went to eat some acai. And this my girlfriend, she wears sunglasses in the mall. I don't know why. And then we decided to wash our clothes also. Because you no, know, we have not enough clothes. And then we decided that we take a bus to Bangkok because my girlfriend complained that you know Hayat hasn't have enough trendy clothes so we put the bus ticket online in advance before coming down because in online it's all in English whereas at the bus station you know it's all in Thai so over here I realized that the bus attendant you know, the bus service guy dressed up like a cabin crew you know so handsome my girlfriend told me that he's so handsome you know? so this is the bus to ride you know? this is one of the pit stop during the bus ride and we realized that the coupon the bus ticket actually have a coupon to exchange for a free drink you know? so over here in the bus ride you know there were escorts on the bus there was mang on the bus there were also normal tourists and normal citizens so over here this is our apartment you know in bangkok so it's a nice place in bangkok you No, know, there's swimming pool and there's this day we wake up you know we look out into the pool it was so refreshing but my girlfriend doesn't have a bikini so he does she doesn't want to go swim so later on she bought a bikini but you no know, i wouldn't show you the bikini footage because she doesn't want to she knows she's very shy though this place is about one hour drive away from bangkok one hour drive because there's jam you no know, traffic jam so my girlfriend say that enough is enough she doesn't want to stay this place anymore because it's far from all her shopping spree in bangkok so it's really sad that I will leave this apartment. So we decided to go to the nearby market first to check out the nearby market. Over here, you know, they sell, they sell all sorts of things that it's not of my girlfriend's interest. You know. Tools, gardening tools. You know, and a mall nearby, you know, my girlfriend decided to buy coconut because he, over here it's only 25 baht. So we were tired of all the markets, so we decided to eat at the shopping mall instead. You know, my girlfriend in the end decided to eat at this place called Bon Chong where the Korean fried chicken no it was really bad you know eating Korean food in Thailand no it's not very nice so this is the motorcycle you know that my Thailand friend actually want to borrow me to ride don't look at the bird you no know, it looks so real no this bike is so beautiful it's a very beautiful Honda classic masterpiece but I'm afraid, you know, that this bike might get stolen or I might damage the bike. So I took it out for a ride and then I decided, no, nah, I don't think I will use it. And I decided, I think I will take a grab instead. We took a grab to the nearby market called World Market. And this is how the World Market looked like. You know, they sell a variety of food. And my girlfriend went to bought so many siumai. I don't know what the hell she was thinking, you know. And she couldn't finish the siumai and she ended up throwing it all away. Then we see all our favorite ice cream brunch, which is called Mishé. You no, know, over here, 
there was this dog after we bought the Miche, they keep following us. Then he kicked nibble on my girlfriend's leg and my leg. No, I was so frustrated because it was so painful and I kicked the dog. I won't show the footage here, no. It's animal abuse. Then back at my friend's house, no, he has a cute parrot in his house. He's a sun cornea. No, so cute. The next morning, you no, know, my Thailand friend, you no, know, his car broke down. He actually couldn't start. No, and then we figured out that it could be the battery. So over here, he called his battery tow truck guy to jump start the battery. So everything they, they conversed it was in Thai, which I don't understand. My Kao Thai crap. I also asked my Thailand friend to drop me off at a nearby durian store, you know, drop by so I can buy some durians. I've never tried Thailand durians before. You no, know, they say that Thailand durians is not nice, it's very hard compared to Malaysia. I mean, Malaysia durian is the best. But I want to try it for myself. So I decided to try it. Indeed, Thailand durian is hard, but it's also a bit wet. Over here, we had some 20 baht chicken rice. It's so good. The rice is so fragrant, the soup is so tasty. Over here, it's so nice, you know. The environment, the security. But my girlfriend decided that enough is enough. She don't like this place. I don't know what my girlfriend is thinking. You no, know, my Thai friend is so kind, he's so good. He let us stay in his house. You know, this is the guest room. So we decided to okay, enough is enough. We take a taxi down one hour to Bangkok to find another place to stay. Nearer to Pratunam where my girlfriend can find all her beautiful clothes. See? Massage, happy hour, happy hour or happy ending. I also don't know. So you don't need to come down to Bangkok. You know, over here I will record video of some of the clothes over here for you to see. So these are some of the shops that we drove past while we in the taxi. No, I saw some beautiful former casual shirt. No, I have very tempted to buy. No, hundred baht. And my girlfriend introduced me this place. That sells mama noodle, no tom yum mama noodle. You no, know. look at the tom yum noodle. You know, on the paper it says three person to eat, but in reality, I think it takes at least four person to finish. You no, know, we have left over and then we left the place. Then my girlfriend saw all these clothes. The EDLV bebe. You no, know, my girlfriend bought it. You no, know. and there's some bar clothes and Platinum Fashion Mall. It's more, you know, it's seven, six, seven levels of clothes. You know, when shop in the night we also continue walking night market i told my girlfriend you know stop buying clothes because when i see her wardrobe at home it's filled with so many clothes already but my girlfriend always complains she has nothing to wear i really don't understand that this logic woman has i have nothing to wear nothing to wear but they're all clothes off the cabinet is off you to the brim for me i spend my money wisely i decided to buy this hundred baht or ha Sushi, sashimi is so delicious. You know, my girlfriend continued to buy her earrings, her phone accessories. And we are only at level what only? No, it's still a long way. Did I tell you this platinum fashion mall you can never walk finish? So when night fall, we decided to get some food. Outside Platinum Mall. Over here is Pratuna Market. And we finally booked a hotel called Richie. You know the hotel is not good condition but it's a budget hotel but it's about 35 sgd per day per night and over here is a place near pratunam you know where they sell some very surprisingly cheap 80 baht 50 baht 100 baht clothes so we took the lift all the way to the highest floor and we decided to walk downwards instead of walking upwards you know, walking down stop is much easier. So over here, we didn't see anything nice to buy also. So fast forward, let's fast forward this. Over here, you know, we uh, decided to put a grab to go to one of the shopping mall because my girlfriend said that, you no, know, there's this shop called Nagora Handbags. Over there, they sell a lot of nice, cheap Nagora. See, this Nar Naraya, not Nagora, Naraya. I saw a design that I really like, you know, it's look like LV from 5, over here, you see, look, look like Louis Vuitton, you know, my, I told my girlfriend this is very nice, she, she said not nice, so will you let me know in the comments below whether it's nice or not nice, to me I think it's very classy and nice, 
these are all the design you know this is for the big bag only 850 bucks for the very big one the duffel bag this for the small one only 385 bucks all this handbag is cute well, they say the quality is acceptable and good it's cloth material you know? so yeah. see the handbag look like the polysim bowl you know my girlfriend complains she's hungry and then she wants to eat Japanese restaurant you know? so over here you know I bought some sashimi that she doesn't like but I like you know? so some curry rice so my girlfriend you know, she's bored of waiting for her food but I take photo of her so she tried to smile then we went the outdoor escalator out you know? then we went back to the apartment to rest the next day we wake up we go to you know set off to take the bts but after that we realized that bts and cap is about the same price we could call if you count two person you know so we reach chachuka market you know nothing much chachuka we at market you know the floor is a bit wet afterwards later it rained again so we start inside one of the soy street then in the night you know the chachuka didn't buy there's a shopping mall right beside on the call Mix, uh, mix, to the buy some fries. The next day, we wake up. We decided to take a van to Park Chong. You know, my girlfriend said it feels like. So she saw this video on TikTok that Khao Yai is a very beautiful place. So she wanted to go to Khao Yai. So at Park Chong, we rent a motorcycle because from Park Chong to Khao Yai, you need to find your own transport. And yeah, this cost two hundred baht per day. So I ran a total of two days at 400 baht. We would take the automatic bike, automatic motorcycle without gear shifting is 300 baht. So of course I can save the 100 baht, I will save it. So very nice motorcycle. After the four hours van ride and the one 30 minutes motorcycle ride, I brought my girlfriend to this place called Dining by the Longkang. Not sure exactly what this place name is. So we went to check in at Lusula Villa. It was rather empty. No, no one. Not much people staying at this resort. No, there was a problem with our room door. No, it can't be locked. So we went to Cos Toscana Valley. Over here, no, the vibe here is very, very different from other places in Thailand. Then you know I ride my motorcycle to this place, you know, Flower Cafe. You no, know, there's a one drink policy before you can enter this backyard. You know, so we have to buy the 150 baht drink. And you know, girls and flowers, you know, they look beautiful together. Mm. After drinking the latte, you know, we both had a bit of stomach ache and so we went to the toilet to pass motion. Then we ride our motorcycle to this temple, you know. It looks very high up, but we didn't climb the flights of stairs at all. You no know, car and motorbike is able to ride up the slope all the way up here. So you get to enjoy the view without climbing any stairs at all. It's so amazing. Over at this temple, you know, there's some little monks at the bottom. But those monks are not real, they are just statue. Nice place. No, there wasn't anyone at the at the area here. No, we don't see any monks, you know, and there's nobody mending the place. So it was free entry. Then we decided to continue our journey. You know, we stopped by this area near Toscana Valley. No Toscana Valley. No, there's security guards, you know, at the entry point, but they let us in for free. You no, know, you do act like you are living inside Toscana Valley, then they let you in. No, they didn't ask much question, they let us in. So we try to eat nearby, and then before we check in to our glamping experience, this is called the Athena Glamping. You know, over here, this is our dome, those air conditioning. And, Mm, this glamping experience, I would say, you know, so so because when you open the curtain, you no, know, nothing much to see. So I take her to a nature trip, kayaking, you know, 
is our tour guide to ensure our safety. We don't get lost in the kayaking waters. No, I didn't see any crocodiles or any animals. So this is me paddling down the boat. I tell my girlfriend not to paddle because she, her paddling really just slows the boat down. So it's okay. We just paddle slowly. So over here, you know, the current was too strong. We were paddling upstream. So we couldn't, I couldn't paddle, you know, I was so tired. So the guy actually alighted and pulled us on our kayak. Very good. So after tipping the guide well, you know, we went off on a motorcycle. We dropped by this nearby market. You know, we were, we were so afraid to eat anything, you know, due to past experience with food poisoning for me personally. I don't dare to anyhow eat food. There has so many flies. And my girlfriend, she had the audacity to buy something here, a soya bean drink. I think my girlfriend liked to drink soya bean a lot. Back at the camping, there's this dog. You know, this dog is really scary. You know, he keep barking at us and keep chasing us around. You know, it was raining at the camping, so we decided to just stay indoors. You no, know, and then we missed the sunset. It's really sad. So in the night, when we decided to go out you know, to get some supper because there wasn't any food at the clamping. So we stopped by this place and the food was awesome. Do you know how much the chicken chop here is? Look at the price of the chicken chop. 49 baht eh, for a chicken chop. Oh my goodness. Other dishes was slightly pricier. But I think the main attraction is the chicken chop. You know, they use this dish to attract more customers. Then we made our way back because the food was really delicious and my girlfriend said she treated me because she's really happy with the food. So this the next morning when we woke up, well, there isn't much sunrise at all. Sunrise is quite far, not even near the glamping spot. So at the goat milk at the farm, I thought this goat milk 30 baht is for human consumption. But turns out no, the staff told me that it's meant to feed the goat. Oh my goodness. I was looking forward to drink goat milk, but instead I have to feed the goat milk instead. Over here I see many horses in captivity. You know, some of the horses they give birth. You know. I'm really afraid of horses myself because I'm afraid Hello, they will kick. You no, know, their back kick is very strong. So we decided to play some pigs instead. You know, so pig like is so cute. You know, and we decided to pet some goats instead. You know, their skin, their fur is a bit rough. But they are so friendly. And we also play with this turtle. So this farm costs about 150, 150 baht for admission. You know, 80 baht. Ah, so about 160. 80 baht per person. Two person have about 160 baht. You no know, goat milk costs about 30 baht. You know. So around there, I spent about 200 baht to come this place. My girlfriend got bought of this place really fast in 10 minutes time, so in about 15 minutes, off we go. So my girlfriend decided to go see some flowers, so I brought her to Khao Yai Flower, Flower Park, Khao Yai. So the entrance field for the Khao Yai Flower Park is 200, so we decided to give it a miss. We went to take the money, we went to the chocolate factory to eat some chocolates instead. So instead of paying to see flowers, we not use the money to eat some chocolates, right? The bill came out a total of about a few thousand baht. About two thousand plus baht. No. My girlfriend told me to treat her. I said, okay, I'll treat you for the chocolate. Then we decided to take the bus back to Hayat. So, over here the bus station, so we fill our stomach first with delicious ramen. And yeah, this is one of the pit stop during the bus ride by to Hayat. At Hayat, we finally arrived at Hayat. You know, this porridge store by the roadside near the bus station. It's very delicious. Then we stay at the hotel in Hayat. And I, and I told my girlfriend that I treat her to a massage nearby. You know, it cost 200 baht per person. The massage was average only. 
But this food over here was very delicious. The soup was tasty. And then we walked past the market and we bought some ice cream to treat ourselves. Oh, there was some event going on, but we don't understand a single word they say. So we left the place in no time. So the next morning, we need to catch the bus at 12.30. So we ate some dim sum for breakfast. And the bus was late. You know, 12 30 bus it came at 1, 1 p.m. So this bus goes back to Singapore. So this is one of the bus pit stop. You know, this bus stop where maybe we can have some food. Take a look. And this is the toilet break at one of the bus stations. And thank you for watching. Goodbye.